This week on Life on Jupiter, we continue our passage towards Panama. We suffer breakages. Oh, God. What happened now? Broken chain. Well, we had a shitty night. And winds that seem determined to blow us towards the pirate grounds. Our challenge is to sail from Isla Mujeres, Mexico to Panama, a direct line distance of nearly 800 nautical miles. But there's lots of obstacles in the way, the worst of which are pirates. And to avoid them, we are nearly doubling our track distance. We would sail almost to Jamaica before turning south this would keep us away from the Nicaraguan banks and islets where they hang out. This means we have to sail 600 miles upwind against the easterly trade winds. Then we have to battle the currents and avoid the shipping. This passage was going to be a tough one. These $200 clutches, uh, this happened again uh, recently, probably a year ago, I guess. So I bought spare side plates, but you know, honestly, they're, they're just not strong enough. How much do you have to spend to stop a rope moving? So I've just used the preventer, I've tied it off to the davits so that I can ease off this rope, take it out of the clutch. Uh, case, right? Well, I thought I could take it apart in situ, but I guess I can't. I have to get... Sure, I've done it before. This is the same side I changed last time. There we go. All right. But. So can you pass one? And the other one. Yeah. Change both just in case. The best chance.
should be all right. I'm just looking at why it would do it. I've got an idea. This block is too low. It needs to be raised on an angle or it's made higher. It's already pretty high. We always eat pancakes when we're feeling down. Had a rough night, very active night, squalls everywhere. You have a look at that track. We even backtracked 10 miles. We need pancakes. We're having pink. I don't want to do it. <laughs> you have cream on your chin. That's for later. <laughs> Are you saving it? When I'm having a sleep, I can lick my face. <laughs> Gross. When's the last time we ate pancakes? Two months. Might Don't be. Maybe. Six Don't weeks. No yeah. mm. Well, we had a shitty night, didn't we? Squally. Wind change in direction all the time. Ah, raining. Not too much rain, but some rain. And our track is just all over the place. Like all day yesterday, we were tacking. And then last night, it just went to shit. <laughs> but I'm hoping this cloud over the back here is the naughty coming down. It's the the warm front coming down is going to bring some northerly winds and rain, but northerly winds so we can get southeast. We've still got 200 miles to go to the turn point and that's the closest we get to the pirates. And then after that we turn southwest. This is day four, isn't it? Wow, it's just frustrating. We've only done about 350 miles in three days. That's, you know, effective miles, like towards our destination or towards the turn point at least. Frustrating trip. You wasted one day taking time. Well, it's not wasting. I mean, you can't drop the anchor. I know, but... They we're also battling a current. When we drift last night, we realized there's nearly a one-knot current taking us backwards. 
So, no wind at the moment, while this front is approaching. Well, it's about four knots, and it's on the nose. So, we are motoring, making water, and making electricity. Probably a few more hours before the wind turns around. So tired. He didn't listen to me. He's still sleepy. He said, Can you stop waking me up? Now you know what's the reason. So that's when I was trying to have a sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Princess says, what did you say? Of course, isn't it? Yeah. No, wind shift. shift. We're, we're going backwards now and... You said that? Yep. Backwards now. Really? I didn't know that. We're, I'm gonna let me sleep. I wanna sleep. Oh well. And I said, whatever. So we'll say, that's <laughs> 15 miles wasted there. <laughs> So we've just been having a bit of a ponder. It's been four days since we've had the last weather forecast. That northerly is supposed to come in. We've got a hint of it now, but the front has actually disappeared now. Like we saw it on the horizon this morning and now it's gone. So I guess it's not coming. So we've sort of been battling to get anywhere because we're you know the wind is probably going to turn on us on uh, on the nose again soon and then the last time we saw a forecast there was a strong easterly coming you know like uh, 25 knots uh, so we're just gonna see what happens but the thought crossed their mind, should we stop at Jamaica? Do you like that idea? I like it in the beginning because we're going to stop. Well, I've always wanted to go there and I've actually know people that live there. But I just don't know if we can just turn up without, you know, 
I don't know what their COVID requirements are. Imagine if we turn up with no PCR or I don't know. Mind you, we can't do a PCR anyway. We've been four days at sea. You don't have a visa and we think the princess requires a visa. Anyway, we'll just, we have to see which way the wind blows us because uh, right now, right now we could make Jamaica. Uh, this is ridiculous. There's this really strong current against this. We've got 10 knots of wind, but we're only doing two and a half, three knots. Anyway, assuming we get past this current, we could be in Jamaica. Well, if we got the right wind, we could be in J Jamaica tomorrow night, but uh, more likely the next day. And I was looking at the, on the north coast of Jamaica, there's a uh, Montego Bay. It sounds very, very familiar. And it sounds like you hear this name in songs and I think it's in uh, that Kokomo song, the Beach Boys Kokomo song. <laughs> I don't know, it sounds very exotic. Uh, we'll just see what tomorrow brings, I think. We've sort of got people waiting for us down in Panama. We're supposed to be doing a charter down in Panama. But we're not going to be coming past this area ever again, probably. But yeah, it's a bit of a stressful passage. Into wind all the way. Into current all the way. Almost. Well, we increased our trip distance by at least 60% to avoid these bastards. Whatever. At least it's comfy right now, so I'm happy about that. Mm. It's beautiful weather. No sign of bad weather coming. There was supposed to be the northerly, but it's gone. Just in case, I've set course for Montego Bay, Jamaica. 150 miles to go. Uh, the wind is not quite northerly enough yet. But we may as well stay north, you know, just in case we decide to actually go there. Better harden up the sails again. What a spectacular night sailing. This is champagne sailing at night time. Champagne night passage. After the frustrations of yesterday and last night, we are tracking directly where we want to go. We've got still a, uh, it's a close reach still, but we can get there so far 130 miles to go we've decided we're going to Jamaica why not just pop in and see what's there we got about 12 knots of breeze uh, but it is on the nose as in at 40 degrees apparent and our speed's up and down a bit. There still seems to be a lot of current. But uh, we're between five and eight knots. But the sea is just so relaxed. Just slow undulations. It's really quite nice. Uh, not a cloud in the sky. Almost a full moon. No traffic. Have not seen one boat. 
since it got dark. Beautiful. Good morning. It's um, seven o'clock in the morning, and we're heading to Jamaica today. Hopefully, we can arrive before dark. And we're doing like six to eight knots. If we maintain this speed, we can arrive there before o'clock and yeah that's the I think it's a little bit dark at six already so if we do eight knots all the way we will get we'll be there around four or five yeah but we're getting this choppy little waves and that makes us you know make slower I think and also the wind is a bit harsh. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful passage. We didn't get any storms. Last night we had a beautiful sky. There's no clouds at all. <laughs> and it makes the maybe the waves smooth. Yeah, so we're a bit tired and we want to relax. It's actually Valentine's Day. Yeah, but we're gonna celebrate here in Jupiter. Uh, we just wanna rest. It's so exhausting. I'm happy that we're gonna stay there, but we're still not sure how we going to check in. Uh, hopefully it goes well. And then we'll show you Jamaica. Well, our northerly wind had finally arrived and with quite a bit of pressure making it necessary to put away the Genoa and pull out the storm jib. Moving slowly with fatigue, I hadn't noticed that with just the mainsail up only, we had a lot of weather helm, which means the boat wanted to turn up into wind. The autopilot is correcting for this by turning the wheel full lock. and trying to turn it further. I hadn't noticed we were already full lock. Without looking at the tillers, it's hard to tell. I couldn't work out why the boat had stopped, but the sooner I got the storm jib up, the better. Oh, God. What happened now? Broken. 
can chain it. I think I've got. Oh, it's just come off. Mm -hmm. But yeah. can you give me a knife quickly? Yeah. Give me a knife. So this has happened before. Uh, I have no mechanical stop on the steering and I should have gone and disconnected the autopilot but I didn't and this is what happens that he chain breaks uh, thankfully it's that end link only get me a rag and I can just put it back on hopefully that's what I'm assuming can you straighten the wheel? You need to tell me when the... Um... Yeah, just put the wheel like that. Okay. Oh. I... Can you select this instrument and find rudder angle? Yeah. Just cycle through it and you'll find it. Rudder. Rudder. Is that... That'll do. Okay. It's blank. Blank. We do have the second backup steering, but it involves tying ropes up to the tillers, which are, there's no real need. We will uh, get this happening in the next few minutes. The boat's just sitting in irons, so there's no problem. Is the uh, engine in neutral. Your harness, can you go? Need you to sit on the transom, put a tether on, sit on the transom, and center the rudder. It might be strong, it might kick you off. Okay, what are you gonna do? Just hit it. Now I've centered the rudders, and it's important to get the chain exactly centered. Otherwise, you have limited steering ability on one side. Uh, Center. That's it. Now lock it. So you can see uh, these are not. They're, they're pretty close, but they're not tight. Uh, sorry, they're not equal heights. So we need to get some slack on this side. Can you hold the wheel, B? And we just skip. Skip a chain link. Whoa, that was strong. Waves are pulling on you. That's actually, by the time I tighten it up, that's pretty good. Let's see if we can get one more link. There we go. Perfect. Tight. Have you got no. rudder sensor? No. Zero. Zero. Oh, it's blank. Like blank. Okay, there you go. Blank. Turn it for lock one way. No. 
Is that it? That's cold. And the other way? Yeah, I know. Okay. Oh, I see it's actually come out up here. Huh. And bent. We haven't got long, we've just got the day, so we can go without the rudder sensor. Um, I'll just keep an eye on that. Don't let it happen again today. Alrighty. Okay, I can put it into gear. Alright, so we're gonna. That angle's pretty good. Uh... Just hold it about there. system is not ideal. I mean, I've set the autopilot up to cancel the autopilot if it goes beyond a certain degrees and it's not doing that. I don't know why. And that's twice, I think it's only twice, maybe even three times now that it's broken the, the chain link. And luckily the weakest link is always the end because that's a joiner. And that's what pops out. And in that case, I was able to use the same link. But I do have spare links down there. It's a bit slow now. Yeah, well. Uh, it was 23 knots earlier, you know. So, Storm and Jib, just a single reef in the main. We've got to try and keep the speed up. We've got to try and get an anchor in Jamaica before dark and at the moment we're looking at 7 p.m. and it's dark here at 5 30. So we've got to make up some speed. Let's check the trip. Uh, sorry hello. made a mess though, you bastard. <laughs> uh, well, it's amazing how Mother Nature just changes our plans by the hour almost. So this northerly is uh, great to get east, it's what we've been waiting for. But uh, sort of gusting 30, 28, 30. Sort of sitting on 25s gusting up to 30. Uh, so we got the boat, what, storm, jib and two reefs in the main. But our plans now is to go to the south coast of... Where are we going? I forget. Do you have a name? 
Jamaica. <laughs> Sorry. Tired. Bay. Because of this northerly, we can't go to Montego Bay, which is on the north coast. So we've got four hours left and we'll be there. Before dark, it should be at three o'clock. So that's cool. I don't think there's anything there. Like, uh, you can't really tell from a Navionics map, but uh, it doesn't look like much there. So we're really hoping we get Google Fi signal so we can have internet. Are we gonna use it? Yeah, it's actually the last day. Tomorrow, Google Fi rolls over to the new month and we've cancelled it for the month because they threatened us. Uh, our terms and service state that you must be predominantly in the US. And it appears that you haven't been, which we haven't, of course. We, we've been in Mexico and they're threatening to cancel so or suspend our services so we don't want to be in a position where we pay 80 dollars and then they, and then they suspend our services so uh, instead we suspended the services uh, which is effective tomorrow so hopefully today we get some information we get some weather we get some info about checking in to Jamaica. Is it on? Where's Jupiter? Is this inside out? Oh, it's inside out. Eh? <laughs> really? Ah, it's lovely feeling to well be in calm waters. I mean, it's still blowing 17 knots here, but no swell. We're only half a mile away from the land. We've got some internet, but it's really, really slow. All we really need is to get weather to make a decision on what we're going to do. And we haven't been able to get weather yet. It's uh, too slow to download, you know. Uh, but hopefully, by the time we anchor in about 45 minutes, we'll eventually get some internet. <sighs> but Jamaica looks nice. This end, anyway, it looks very sparse, sparsely populated. It's a lot drier than I expected. I thought it would be jungly, but it sort of looks more scrubby. Looks like some nice homes. Anyway, we're going to try this first anchorage just around this corner. Um, the main thing we're looking for is internet. If that does not have internet, then another seven miles further on, we will try that anchorage and see if they have internet. Oh, I'm looking forward to being in a still bed tonight. Have a hot shower. And then maybe tomorrow we're going to continue up the coast to uh, Kingston. Depending on what information we find out on the internet, we may check in. Uh, an unexpected stop. Huh? Next week on Life on Jupiter, this was not the welcome we expected. Once again, they won't let Princess in. <laughs> <laughs>